Please remain standing for the invocation. All praise to you, gracious Creator. You have gathered us in this university community to praise you by our works and our words. Bless the University of Alberta, which seeks to teach whatsoever things are true, and this faculty, which strives to produce leaders and servants committed to the betterment of this world. Bless the students and professors the non-academic staff and support staff, the administration, and all those who volunteer on the University Board of Governors, Senate, and Alumni Council, and all who promote sound education in our community. We ask that those who leave here today, blessed with their degrees, may be given grace and strength to lead and serve in our global home. May we grow in wisdom and grace before you and all your people. May this university always be home of truth and wisdom, of faith and goodwill towards all. Please be seated.
Good morning, and welcome to the University of Alberta on this beautiful Alberta day. My name is Ralph Young, and I have the privilege of serving as the Chancellor of the University of Alberta and representing the public interest in our university. To begin, I wish to acknowledge and honor all Indigenous peoples, including the Inuit, Métis, and First Nations of Treaty 6, and to acknowledge the traditional lands on which we are gathered today. I also wish to acknowledge and honor the immigrants from many nations whose contributions have added so much to our rich heritage. Our university is blessed with a diverse and inclusive culture which is built on the legacy of all those who have come before us. Today, we pledge to uphold that legacy as we continue to pursue our motto, whatsoever things are true. On behalf of our entire community, I'm delighted to welcome you all to this convocation. We are very pleased that so many friends and family members could join us as we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Graduation from the University of Alberta is a significant milestone, and we are honored to share this convocation ceremony with all of you. The tradition of convocation, which is a Latin term meaning a gathering together of all qualified degree holders in the university community, dates back almost 700 years to medieval times. So many generations of scholars have walked in your footsteps. Led by our Chief Marshal and the University Mace, today's formal procession, procession to the stage originates in the procession of the Guild of Teachers, which is appropriate for our education program. The University coat of arms above us includes the Great Horned Owl, Alberta's provincial bird, the Book of Learning, the Pronghorn from Alberta's book coat of arms, and our old golden bear, mascot of our university. Our university motto, Caicomco Vera, Latin for whatsoever things are true, is at its foundation. As chancellor, I wear our university green and gold with pride and great respect. You'll notice the various academic gowns, hoods, and caps declare in their various designs and colors, the alma maters and the qualifications of the faculty or who are on the stage to celebrate with you. Similarly, your academic apparel signifies to everyone here and to our society your faculty and degree of proficiency as graduates. Today, each of you will cross the stage as your name is called, and that will be the most important part of the ceremony. Your degree will be conferred as we congratulate you and shake hands. And that moment will bind you and the University of Alberta together for all time. Your family and friends are witness to that commitment. All of the history and tradition within today's ceremony is in honor of you, our graduates. And that, of course, is why we're here, to celebrate your future. We're also extremely privileged to welcome Mr. David Hancock, who has accepted our invitation to receive an honorary doctorate of laws. An honorary degree recognizes inspiring role models and leaders, celebrates extraordinary achievements, and, rem and recognizes remarkable contribution to society. Also joining the celebration on the stage today is our president, Dr. Indira Samrasekra, our board chair, Mr. Douglas Goss. I'm also pleased that Dr. Paul Payton, Dean of the Faculty of Law, and Dr. Fern Snart, Dean of the Faculty of Education, are here to congratulate graduates as they cross the stage. I'm equally delighted to welcome here on stage Chancellor Emeritus, Dr. Peter Saverin, Chancellor and Board Chair Emeriti and past honorary degree recipients, Drs. John Ferguson and Eric Newell, Board Chair Emeriti and past honorary degree recipients, the Honorable Dr. Jim Edwards and Dr. Brian Heidecker. Also joining us are past honorary degree recipients, Louise Hayes and Sandra Voitis. Chancellor of Concordia University of Edmonton and past honorary degree recipient, the Honorable Dr. Alan Wachowicz, the Honorable Judge Aaron Valen of the Provincial Court of Alberta, and past Speaker of the Alberta Legislature, the Honorable Jean Zwazdeski. And I'd also like to recognize Elder Don Langford, who is here today to ex extend a special personal note of congratulations to our Aboriginal students as they receive their degrees. So all of us here today are here to celebrate this very special day on your behalf, and I'd now like to invite greetings from our Chair of the Board of Governors, Mr. Doug Goss. Well, good morning. 
Eminent Chancellor, Mr. Ralph Young, President, Dr. Indira Samasekara, distinguished guests, graduates, family, and friends, I'm deeply honored to be here today to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Governors of the University of Alberta. I'm especially honored to share the stage with uh, the Honorable David Hancock today, who for 17 years served the people of this province with but one motive, and that is to serve the public good. Dave, you've got my deepest admiration and respect. Convocation is a special time when the entire university community gathers to celebrate your tremendous achievements. And we have much to celebrate. But today we especially gather to celebrate you, the graduating class of 2015. You've achieved a level of excellence which will be forever recognized in your university degree, the University of Alberta degree. As chair of this university, I want to assure you that our university remains absolutely steadfast in its pursuit of being among the world's great public universities, and our board of governors is absolutely united in its committed, commitment to excellence across this entire institution. You know, it's an extraordinary time for our university and our province, and your degree positions you to compete with the very best in the world. You're only limited by your own ambition and creativity, both of which I know you have in abundance. In short, graduates, you are our pride and joy, and I know you will bring great honor to this institution as you work to solve the many challenges currently facing our city, our province, and indeed the global community. The Board of Governors salutes you today, and we hope this ceremony will be remembered as a highlight in a full and satisfying career. Remain ambitious, remain creative in all your pursuits. Congratulations to you, your families, and all those who have supported you. Our very best wishes in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Class of 2015, come with me, if you will on an imaginative journey. Leave pomp and circumstance for just a moment and cast your mind back to your first day at the University of Alberta. Who were you then? What hopes did you have? Did you feel a little bit overwhelmed arriving on campus, a little unsure about whether you were in the right program, let alone the right building? Or did you feel like you were finally in the right place, ready to become the person you wanted to be? We all have our own unique University of Alberta beginning. I'll never forget one of my first days as president. I was feeling confident and excited, convinced that I was ready to take on the biggest challenge of my life. So out I went during orientation week to speak to students and hand out some U of A goodies. Having just done the research for my interview, I was keen to see what they knew about their university. When was the U of A founded? I asked one bright-eyed student. 1779, he responded with great certainty. I suggested he try a history course. I asked another student, who was the first president of U of A? I received a blank look. After a few seconds, the student said, and who are you? <laughs> I asked, who do you think I am? Her face brightened, and she said, you must be the student union president. <laughs> How flattering to be mistaken for a 20-year-old. But I knew right then I had work to do. Having the title of president was one thing. Becoming a leader she could respect and recognize that I would have to earn. And so my own U of A education began. Today we celebrate the educational journey that you and I began on that first day. The U of A has taught me more than I thought possible, and I hope you feel the same. In past years, I've had to rely on memories of my own convocation to find the words of advice 
I'd like to share today. But this year, it's different. This year, after 10 years as president, I too am leaving the U of A. Like many of you, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing next. I'm even moving back with my family. Well, to be honest, it's my daughter and her family who are moving in with me while they have house renovations done. But right about now, without a definite plan, it feels frighteningly close to moving back into the basement. <laughs> Your parents are here praying that you don't do the same. <laughs> so here we are, you and I, excited and apprehensive at the same time. It's been such a privilege for me to lead this great university and to see so many talented graduates cross the stage. When I reflect on, my, on the last decade, my main aim as a person and as your president has been to set myself and every student on a journey to excellence. Today is just the first stop for you on that lifetime endeavor. I believe that excellence is not merely rooted in ambition and achievement, as many people think, but in something quite different. It's not about your grade point average or academic awards. In fact, it's not a goal at all. Instead, seeking excellence is a process or a way of living your life. Excellence is that point on the horizon that gives you direction. I first learned this from my father, who was an ear, nose, and throat specialist in Sri Lanka. Every day he toiled away, caring for thousands of extremely poor patients. Faced with this daily grind, my father might have chosen to treat his patients quickly, doing only what was necessary to help them out the door, without thinking deeply about their chronic illnesses. But he was a person who sought excellence in everything he did. Good enough was not in his repertoire. In my youth, he uncovered a bioelectric disturbance in the inner ear which caused debilitating dizziness. He then devised a minor operation to treat the condition which brought unimaginable relief to his patients. I was only a teenager, but I was struck by his passion and deep caring for his patients. His daily caring had translated into excellence. His actions remind me of a favorite quote. Excellence can be attained if you risk more than others think is safe. Care more than others think is wise. Dream more than others think is practical. And expect more than others think is possible. Here at the U of A, I have continued to learn this lesson many times over. As you launch your careers, I would like to be able to assure you that with thoughtful planning, the journey towards excellence goes in a straight line, but it doesn't. No doubt you already know this. Life constantly surprises us, good or bad. Sometimes you can feel completely derailed by the unexpected. It's how we respond to and learn from these surprises. That's our true test. Start by using the skills you've gained over your degree. Approach every problem and opportunity with both critical thinking skills and imagination. Connect the dots between ideas and people. Pay attention to details that others may have missed. Read and do research so that you can understand the full context of the issue. Seek alternative perspectives. Yours alone will never provide a full picture. This last point is important. Your generation is often touted as the most connected generation in human history. Hard to imagine. But when I became president, social media was so new that no one really knew it existed yet. 
Communications technology has made all of our lives infinitely easier. I can send an email, text a quick instruction, and things get done. But I've learned that we can sometimes mistake efficiency for quality. Think about this. If Alexander Graham Bell had invented the telephone today, we would have said, wow, I can hear the person in real time. He was clearly ahead of his time. Without face-to-face -face communication, which engages all five senses, technology can sometimes dehumanize and create misunderstanding. You may get things done, but you may find that you're doing them alone. As an African proverb teaches, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. I think of my father and the conversations, thousands of conversations he had with his patients. Nothing would have come of them if he hadn't been listening with his whole self. The University of Alberta has a deep, resonant spirit and purpose that injects this kind of human connection into the heart of all that we do. It goes back to our first president, Henry Marshall Torrey, and his call for us to be a university for the uplifting of the whole people. His call resonated in 1908, perhaps because Alberta's pioneers had risked more than others thought wise and believed that they could build a better future for themselves and others. Tory's call has grown stronger in our awareness than this, that this particular place has a much deeper history of being a gathering place where Aboriginal peoples of many nations came together for centuries in both spiritual and economic harmony. They knew that only by caring more than others think was wise can we survive and prosper. This fierce pride in community and its corresponding commitment to serve and uplift others are hardwired into the U of A. They are now a part of me, and they are now a part of you. They give our journey towards excellence a deeper meaning. Graduates, each one of you has your own particular U of A story. Continue to live out that story with purpose and vision. I ask you to risk more, to care more, to dream more, to expect more of yourself than you thought possible. And always remember, by seeking for excellence and striving to fulfill your highest potential, you can and you will become a person who uplifts others and makes the human community better for all. Congratulations and good luck. Knowledge shall not be the concern of scholars alone. The uplifting of the whole people shall be its final goal. They inspire us all with their brilliance, creative force, and fervent desire to make the world a better place. I accept it in the name of our poor people. Dream your dreams. It is possible to have a new kind of world. Those who receive an honorary degree from the University of Alberta set the highest standards of dedication and excellence for students and for society at large. You will always find it, your own courage or theirs, in the eyes of the other. Go where there's no path and leave a trail for someone else. And while their backgrounds and fields of endeavor vary widely, all are exceptional. Maybe it's best if I just speak from the heart.
we face today a clash of ignorances. You are who make the history. You are who create the future. U of A honorary degree recipients embody the university's vision to inspire the human spirit through outstanding achievements in learning, discovery, and citizenship in a creative community. I think we are now in the threshold of a new beginning. It is a spirit that is building one of the world's great universities for the public good. It is your attitude that will sustain you. It is not what happens to you, it is what you do with it. Travel well, travel without prejudice, live long and prosper. There you go. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University of Alberta, I am honored to introduce David Graham Hancock for the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws. Children first. In all the years I have known him, Dave Hancock has worn a pin on his lapel that says, children first. This relentless focus on future generations of learners and leaders in our community is one of the hallmarks of his enduring commitment to public service. A former premier and one of the most distinguished cabinet ministers in the history of the Alberta legislature, Mr. Hancock has dedicated his life to building the foundations of our civil society. As government house leader for many years, he earned the respect of his peers and the community for his knowledge of and dedication to our parliamentary system. A champion of educational excellence, as Minister of Advanced Education, he passed the Access to the Future Act, creating a $1 billion endowment fund for post-secondary education. He also found the means to establish the Lois Hall Campus Alberta Digital Library, another transformative initiative for research and teaching that led to a set of full text databases for all post-secondary institutions in the province, opportunities to digitize special collections, and the new First Nations information connection that brought First Nations colleges into the mainstream of the library community. As Minister of Intergovernmental and Aboriginal Affairs, Mr. Hancock brought forth the Aboriginal policy framework and signed all unsigned treaties with First Nations. As Minister of Justice and Solicitor General, he introduced specialized domestic violence courts. As Minister of Education, he instituted the Strengthening Hope Learners Bursary, a simplified and centralized funding model that responds to the unique needs of teen parents in their efforts to complete high school. He also launched the first comprehensive review of education policy in Alberta in 30 years, forging the province's new Education Act. In each role, Dave Hancock sought to strengthen and enrich our community his outstanding leadership and public service reflect a powerful combination of initiative, 
and personal integrity. Eminent Chancellor, with great pride and respect, I present to you David Graham Hancock. David Graham Hancock, in recognition of one of Alberta's finest servant leaders who has made a lifelong commitment to education and the highest ideals of public service, I desire to confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws and to express the hope that we shall continue to be enriched by your wise counsel for many years to come. Congratulations, David. Take this and take over for the I warned them that if this wasn't on the podium, I could go on at length. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, Chairman of the Board, Madam President, Governors, Senators, and Academy, graduates, friends, and family. Thank you for those kind and generous words. And thank you to my nominators for their generosity in nominating me for this honor. It is a particular privilege to be here during the final convocations of President Samara Sekera. I represented government at her inauguration and had the joy of working with her throughout her tenure. Thank you for all that you have done to move our beloved university to greatness. You have truly been inspiring to us all. The University of Alberta has played an important role in my life, not only in the great experiences in learning and living that I gained while on campus for seven years, but throughout my time in office when I had the opportunity to work with and draw upon many of the talented people who make it such a great institution and who contribute so much to the greater community. Today we celebrate milestones for you as graduates and for our society as a whole. Law and education, two of the most important foundations of our society. The rule of law is the basis of civil society and the education of our young is the very future of our society. You are joining important professions, enabling you to be effective contributors. By according me this distinction, you honour not just me, but all those who contribute to their community using their talents and abilities for the public good, and I am humbled to be here as their representative. For society to excel, people must set for themselves core values to guide them in good times and bad. The most important factor that I have had in any success that I've enjoyed is in knowing, understanding and adhering to my core values. Those values were learned from and shaped by family and by education. Family is so important. I was very fortunate to have parents with an incredible sense of purpose. My mother and father grew up in difficult circumstances in Edmonton, graduated from high school during the severe depression of the 30s, and separately headed north to work. Mom to teach, dad to join the Hudson's Bay Company. They met in Fort Vermilion in 1936 and spent the next 45 years raising their seven children in some of Canada's smallest, poorest Aboriginal communities. I learned three very important lessons from them. First, every person has value and deserves to be treated with respect, listened to, and honoured. Each person's voice expresses an important perspective, regardless of his or her origin or personal circumstances. Everyone has lived experience that can inform our future. Everyone needs the opportunity to contribute in their own way and to their own capacity. Second, communities do not build themselves. If we want something done, we have to be prepared to do it, to lead it, to collaborate with others, to inspire others to join and contribute their talents to the shared task. That pioneering spirit, whether it came from the sharing nature of Aboriginal societies or neighbours rallying for a barn raising, 
has instilled strength in our community. Third, education is important. Education. The development of literacy and numeracy is fundamental to core skills. The development and use of critical thinking. The pursuit of knowledge for its own sake. The application of knowledge through the development of our capacities and potential. Mom and Dad believed in the value of education, and they ensured that each of their seven children graduated with a post-secondary designation. In the 21st century, as our inspiring education document says, engaged ethical and entrepreneurial Albertans must lead in learning and unleash innovation if we are to compete in a global marketplace and ensure that Alberta continues to be the best place to live, to work, and to raise our families. I understand that not everyone had the advantages that I had. Families don't all come with two parents. Parents don't all focus on ensuring that their children are educated. Far too many families struggle in poverty, endure family violence, and face other barriers. As a society, we must work to strengthen families, defeat family violence, and assist those coping with disabilities or other challenges. But we also must help to develop and enhance personal resilience and personal capacity. Whether or not we come from strong families, we create family by what we do and whom we do it with. Leaving Fort Vermillion to attend university was a very scary experience for me. My first class at the University of Alberta had more people than my hometown. <laughs> I was very fortunate to find a fraternity. Phi Gamma Delta's core values of brotherhood, scholarship, and service have been fundamental underpinnings for me. And I can tell you that my fraternity brothers, even those who didn't agree with my political philosophy, have been there for, for me through every election and supporting me in my work. Brotherhood, extended outward, is the understanding that while we each have talent and ability, we need and rely on others in our lives. Being there for people around you when you were needed, and knowing that others would be there for you. That is building family. When we wrote the Statement of Principles for the Progressive Conservative Party, yes, we did and do have principles, <laughs> one of the foundations was respect for the family as defined by its members. You truly have family when you understand that one's rule of daily action must be constant service and, if need be, self-sacrifice for one's brothers. And then the pursuit of knowledge. Knowledge cannot be contained, it is shared. Our greatest legacy is in leaving behind us a better understanding of our world, better ways of doing things, reducing our impact on our planet. And as we each do our part, whether in research and innovation, or applied research, or practical application, or in teaching, guiding, and mentoring, we must all strive to be part of that upward march of humanity. At the end of the day, our success is not measured by the world's recognition nor the applause of man, as derived from Thessalonians. It's measured by a conscience untroubled by remorse for past action nor regret for lost opportunity. Our success is in knowing that we gave our best. We developed our potential. We overcame our personal hurdles. We developed and cared for our family, however we define it. And we contributed to our community in our own way, not as measured by others, but in terms of our knowledge of our own purpose and the extent to which we've fulfilled it. You have worked hard to get to this point. Each of you has followed a different path. Each of you will determine your path forward from here. Each of you will know for yourself whether you have done all that you could. No one can choose your path for, path for you. But I can tell you that knowing that you have built a family and community around you Knowing that you have worked hard to develop your potential, knowing that you have given and contributed your best, and knowing that you ha have more to do will give you a great deal of satisfaction. And while one has to determine the extent of one's success for themselves, it's not about the applause of man. It is a very wonderful and humbling feeling to be here today, to accept this honor from my alma mater and to wear it with pride. If it is understood that none of the things that I am being recognized for belong to me alone. That in anything I have achieved, it was a collaborative effort, built, sustained, and complemented by the opportunity to work with caring, motivated, smart, ethical people who challenged my thinking and my actions every day. 
I need to acknowledge with thanks my toughest critics and strongest supporters, my wife and children. The rest of my family who have always been there with love and support every step of the way. My fraternity brothers who made it possible for me to cope with university and grow and who supported each of my campaigns and endeavors. My partners in law who understood and supported my commitment to community. Volunteers, many of whom became great personal friends who believed, supported and worked for an idea or a vision of what our community could be. Intelligent, dedicated, passionate staff who stuck with me, challenged me every step of the way. My work is a product of their work. And leaders of the public service who brought talent and ability to work every day for Albertans, who provided critical thinking and policy options, and who did the necessary work to achieve results. And my colleagues in office who encouraged and supported me, and when they thought necessary, discouraged my directions and actions. Each and every one of the people that I mentioned deserves a turn with this cap and gown. And finally, I accept this honour and wear it with pride if, by accepting it, I can in some small way inspire you and others to a life of service, of scholarship, of striving for excellence, of community and society building, of being an active part, not a bystander, in that upward march of humanity. Thank you. Dr. Hancock, your life and accomplishments are an inspiration to all of us. And your presence here today is a great tribute and a great treasure for all of us to have experienced. You are truly one of the great servant leaders of our province and someone who has participated at the highest level of service with great integrity and great character. Now, graduates, as you look at Dr. Hancock and see his have risen to the highest offices of our, of our government, also having received now the highest honor our university can provide. It's hard to believe that a young man born in Fort Resolution, Northwest Territories, and growing up in La Crete, Alberta, could have risen to such heights. As an example for each of you to remember as you go on with your careers. Now we'd like to have Dr. Hancock, if he hasn't already, to sign our university honor roll. Congratulations, Dr. Hancock. So we readmit him into our great alumnus of our university, as, which he has already uh, handled so well for many, many years. And now, graduates, graduates, it's your turn. As the name of each graduate is called across the stage, I will formally admit you to your degrees, and we will have an opportunity to congratulate you. On your journey across the stage, you will walk past the University of Alberta's ceremonial mace. Centuries ago, the mace was a symbol of authority for political, military, and academic occasions. Today, our mace represents the life-changing power of knowledge and the importance of our university and graduates to our community. I look forward to meeting you on stage. The candidates for degrees will please rise and follow on page four of the Convocation Program.
Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the faculties, I present to you these scholars and ask that they be pledged and admitted to the degrees to which they are entitled. Do you promise faithfully to observe and loyally to maintain the statutes, customs, privileges, and liberties of this, your university? Do you solemnly promise to conduct yourself in all things loyally and faithfully to the honor of your university, the encouragement of learning, and the good of your country? These. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of this province, and with the consent of this university, I admit you to the degrees to which you are entitled and invest with you all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining to such degrees. I charge you to use them for the uplifting of the whole people and to, to inspire the human spirit and for all who believe to serve your God and finally to pursue more steadfastly whatsoever things are true. Please be seated. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Paul Payton, I present the following graduates for degrees in the Faculty of Law. For the degree of Master of Laws, Ghazi Habibullah Durrani. <clears throat> Eminent Chancellor, for the degree of Juris Doctor, recipient of the Horace Harvey Medal in Law, Adam Leslie Ollenberger with distinction. Adam Ollenberger is this year's recipient of the Horace Harvey Medal in Law. This is awarded to the graduating student with the highest academic standing in the work prescribed for the LLB degree and was endowed by the late Horace Harvey, former Chief Justice of Alberta. Adam's commitment to his education has not gone unnoticed, as he has been recognized with numerous scholarships and awards throughout his academic career, including the Blake Castles and Graydon Scholarship, the George H. Steer Scholarship, and the Louise McKinney Post-Secondary Scholarship. He is graduating with distinction, having made the Dean's List for all three years of law school. Adam was an avid volunteer with various groups, including the Alberta Law Review, Out Law Alberta, and Pro Bono Students Canada. Please join me in congratulating Adam Ollenberger. Well done. Jeffrey Hudson Adair with distinction. <laughs> Heather Francis Anderson. <laughs> Yang Bai. <laughs> Rani Leila Bal. <laughs> Imran Bhutta. Brittany Maria Biolo. <laughs> Carmen Clarin Boucher. Well Peter Thomas Byes with distinction. <laughs> Taylor Lee Campbell with distinction. 
Ian Michael Carruthers. Matthew Charlton. Jo Kim Junyan Chow. Susanna Kate Chen. Kashin Chung. Elliot Aiken Chin. Kobe Diane with distinction. Caitlin Brianne Denny. Janine Dayabi. Recipient of the W. Bernie Kelly QC Memorial Prize, Christine Nicole Eberle with distinction. Shauna Louise Gibbons. Christopher Felling. Connor Pio Fleming. Bethan Mary Rose Franklin with distinction. Allison Louise Fry. Recipient of the Judge's Bronze Medal, Adrian Sidney Funk with distinction. Shailene Linnea Gallagher. Bryce Ronald Goldfelt. Matthew Gordon. Catherine Bridget Griffin. Carolyn Patricia Grogan. Muriel Harkama. Graham Thomas Harrington. Catherine Ann Hartshorn with distinction. Christine Catherine Hittinger with distinction. Nicole Ashley Ingram. Daniel Miles Jackson. Recipient of the George Bly O'Connor Silver Medal in Law, Iman Riyad Jomaha with distinction. Evan Craig Kirker. Brianne Lisette La Rochelle. Therese Claire Layton. Christopher John Lensink. Lisa Little. Courtney Don Ma. Alvin Mack with distinction. Russell Ronald Mann. Fadi Makram Mansur. Jacob Andrew Marshall. Spencer Hudson McMullen. Sarah Christine Menzies. Scott Robert Mitchell Meyer. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> Michelle Jean Molyneux with distinction.
Steve James Morrison. Syed Nael Nakvi. Adam Terence Pasichnik with distinction. Jason Yong Pa. Trevor Glenn Peters with distinction. Rodney Allen Perkins. Kathleen April Pino. Stacy Marie Purser. Rebecca Miranda Radcliffe. Sai Padmavati Ravikumar. Luke Dylan Ross with distinction. Graham Sanson. Jessica Lee Shantz. Andrea Catherine Signore. Travis Sippel. David Ray Sommerfeld. Ren Jamie Spence. Michelle Terrace. Terry J.L. Triber with distinction. Lindsay Diane Turnbull. William John Van Engen. Andrea Colleen Vig. Fez Ali Al Nur Virji. Ian Arthur David George Walker. Mark Daly Wells. Brianna Jean White. Nicholas Charles Williams with distinction. Christine Dawn Wilson. Lisa Regina Wingenbach. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of Professor Fern Snart, I present the following graduates for degrees in the Faculty of Education. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Brent Daniel Bradford. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Master of Education, Andrea Hildy Brown. Tara Lee Edgar. Carrie Ann Faber. Pauline Elaine Gilmore. Janice Erin Greenwood. <laughs> Carla Holt. <laughs> Sheena Catherine Ann Newberry. <laughs> Shannon Lee Pasma. <laughs> Brenda Louise Russell.
Julie Inger Smith. Kirsten Ray Sweet. Nanan Wang. Loren Elizabeth Wilmot. Catherine Ann Wachikowski. Ginger Lee Youngberg. Eminent Chancellor for the degree of Bachelor of Education and recipient of the Milton Ezra Lazert Gold Medal, Rabia Gaziani with distinction. Rabia Ghazani is this year's recipient of the Milton Ezra Lazert Gold Medal in Education. This medal is awarded by the Faculty of Education to the graduating student who has shown the highest general proficiency in the final two years of the Bachelor of Education program. It is endowed by the Alberta Teachers Association in honor of Milton Ezra Lazert, a former dean of the Faculty of Education. Rabia's academic excellence at the University of Alberta has been recognized through numerous scholarships, including the Roger S. Smith Undergraduate Student Research Award and three certificates of excellence. Rabia has volunteered in various organizations on and off campus, including the University of Alberta Peer Support Center, the Aga Khan Social Welfare Board of Canada, and the Big Brothers Big Sisters Program. She will continue her academic path this fall by pursuing a master's degree in educational psychology at the University of Alberta. Congratulations, Robia. Well done. Wow. What a lovely work out. All the very best. Maria Shiraz Hassanali Adamji. Feral Jordan Albert Purveen. Alexis Leah Allen. Curtis John Allen. Samantha Ray Allenson. Michelle Leonora Anderson, with distinction. Nicole Hannah Mary Anderson. Stephanie Lynn Anderson. Robin Leah Armstrong. Amanda Lee Arneson. <laughs> Jessica Arts with distinction. <laughs> Fatin Asaf. <laughs> Vanessa Stephanie Austin. Brana Lee Violet Baranaski. <laughs> Melissa Dawn Bowman. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Beard. <laughs> Amanda Beekman. Sarah Elizabeth Ellen Bell. (laughs) 
Ruth Berkovich. Caitlin Rose Billy with distinction. Peter Jonathan Boer with distinction. Lauren Ann Boisvert. Jessica Lindsay Bolt with distinction. Amanda Eva Nicole Bonito. Samantha Boyd. Alyssa Florence Bratt. Lacey Marie Brockoff. Giles John Brody. Carly Brophy. Nicole Catherine Bruvold with distinction. Brittany Marie Buckholtz. Chelsea Gwen Bulmer. Erin Leanne Burns. Amanda Paige Butterworth. Christine Tonya Cambridge. Caitlin Faye Campbell. Alexandra Mackenzie Candler with distinction. Skylar Leah Canning. Marie Victoria Capper. Cassandra Andrea Caravantes Ruiz. Nicole Sarah Carlson. Melina K. Angela Cartmel with distinction. <laughs> Natasha Marie Cayenne with distinction. Charlene Joy King Chan with distinction. Emily Kathleen Chance. Matthew Andrew Chung with distinction. Laura Elizabeth Sheila Chidley. Lillian Yuen Young Chin. Laura Joanne Chomos. Kaylee Paulina Chorneco. Emily Chow with distinction. Receiving a Bachelor of Education and a Certificate in Community Engagement and Service Learning, Trisha Keng Hong Chow with distinction. Carly Ann Circa. Andrea Lynn Coates. Natasha Dawn Colomb. Selena Denise Como with distinction. Applause 
Krista Michelle Connolly with distinction. Shafia Contractor. Marina Cook with distinction. Katie Lynn Cooper. Carrie Lynn Cornier. Kara Creighton. Marie Geraldine Cryer. Catherine Grace Crowell Boer. Kendall Scott Cruikshank. Janelle Elizabeth Sear. Madison Caitlin Sear. Kevin Michael Dabbs with distinction. Vienna Marie Dahl. Alison Michelle Dahmer. Brittany Kristen Dunluck. Natalia Lubomira Marika Dashkowicz with distinction. Kimberly Rose Davies. Kerstie Brianne Dawes. Tamara Kim DeVry with distinction. Mackenzie Danny DeShane. Mary Lee Helena Decker. Caitlin Samantha Dembo with distinction. Brenda Louise Durkoch. Zoe Alexandra DeFosse. Rebecca Elise Desjardins. Caitlin Sophia Diachuk with distinction. Caitlin Ashley Ann Dietrich. Amanda Michelle Donst. Paige Margaret Duplessis with distinction. Suzanne Durand. Lauren Dale Emore. Dana Lynn Eckel with distinction. Ashley Megan Ijuvace Bendicho. Darlin Ray Edwards. Ashley Kayleen Ellison. Heather Faye Alvina. Isabella Katarina Englert. Sarah Joanne Fandrick. Kaylee Ann Farrell with distinction. 
Caitlin Elizabeth Fecco with distinction. Tamara Denise Fennig. Sarah Joanne Ferrante with distinction. Jennifer Rose Fataz. Brianna Rose Fiacco. Amelia Karen Teal Fluett. Tasha Marie Frank. Martha Friesen with distinction. Belinda Andrea Heidi Froze with distinction. Catherine Elizabeth Fuhrer. Emerald Elizabeth Gallant. Leah Galloway with distinction. Brianne Marie Gamache. Nicole Leanne Gatner. Jasmine Marie Gursky. Amandeep Kaur Gill. Poonam Kaur Gill. Mallory Claire Gomes. <laughs> Haley Irene Goring with distinction. <laughs> Nicole Marie Grun with distinction. <laughs> Ashley Dawn Gwinden. Alicia Wilma Hahn with distinction. <laughs> Catherine Ingrid Hamilton. <laughs> Derek Wayne Hamill. <laughs> Lauren Michelle Handerick with distinction. <laughs> Cara Dawn Handley. Kristen Amanda Hannigan with distinction. <laughs> Brittany Rose Hansma. <laughs> Catherine Harrisonchuk. <laughs> Yasmin Mohammed Habib Harimi. Nicolette Amber Harrison. <laughs> Kylie Ann Harsh. <laughs> Jasmine Desiree Hatcher with distinction. <laughs> Chantel Ann Hawkins. Kaylee Ann Henderson. Danielle Agnes Marie Hendricks. Megan Elizabeth Herbert with distinction. Jennifer Louise Hess with distinction. Lisa Margaret Hebert with distinction. <laughs> Shelby Dawn Hoffman. <laughs> Chloe Leanne Holland. <laughs> Shelby, 
Shea Rianne Hook with distinction. Larissa Hopkins. Laura Leah Hool. Teddy Hersoon. Amanda Hyatt. Jennifer Lee Isings. Jamie Lee Marie Iverson. Elizabeth Margaret Izard. Nadej Jean-Louis Jackson. Vanessa Evelyn Jans with distinction. Dana Marie Jansen. Lauren Jennifer Jeffries. Stephanie Jenkins. Danielle Rose Jessam with distinction. Jacetta Faye Johnson. Sarah Melissa Johnson. Brittany Morgan Jolivet. Allison May Jolly. Jamie Eileen Jukna with distinction. Anastasia Canelos. Lisa Diane Kantapovich. <laughs> Helena Nabil Kasim. <laughs> Tirsa Allison Kijik. <laughs> Stella Louise Kent. Leslie Ann Kenyon with distinction. <laughs> Lindsay Erin Clemmer. <laughs> Megan Mary Kalodluk. <laughs> Diana Lee Kono. Kazia Rose Connor Wallets. Charity Elizabeth Kucharski with distinction. Caitlin Ann Kulchiski. Siobhan Lamb. Veronique Langevin. Caitlin Nicole LaRose with distinction. Joni Irene Larson with distinction. Julie Kyungmi Lee with distinction. Christy J. Lefrancois with distinction. Michelle Ann LePage. Fallon Shea Levesque. Alex Samantha Levine with distinction. Iba E. Lin.
Mackenzie Naomi Linen. Jia Liu. Katie Lynn Lockton with distinction. Cassandra D. Londorf with distinction. Felicity Victoria Loff with distinction. Tyler Brett Lofstrand. Courtney Chance Longjohn. Tamara Heather Lameko. Jessica Ann McCaig with distinction. Megan Ashley McKinnon. Shayel Nicole McKinnon. Enid Teresa Marie Maida with distinction. Anjali Mahe. Casey Jesse Marshador. Janelle Marchand. Megan Ashley Marcigen. Christina Marinich. Ellen Avery McClary. Alex Brett McDonald with distinction. Leanne Mary Elizabeth McCoy with distinction. <laughs> Kathleen Mary McMaster. <laughs> Mackenzie Dara Mead. <laughs> Samantha Ray Meadows. Nell Maline Mears. Thomas Gilmore Meyer. Jessica Zofia Milanowski with distinction. Janelle Miller. Caitlin Nicole Miller. Tara Lynn Modine. Kristen Marie Monasterski. Recipient of the Edna Catherine Press Memorial Prize, Delaney Catherine Moore with distinction. Miranda Ashley Muswa. <laughs> Leanne Kathleen Morgan. Omar Munar. Tori Elizabeth Mustard Kaner. Celia Lynn Nguyen. <laughs> Katrina Lynn Nicholson. <laughs> Kira Heidi Noble. <laughs> Kara Richelle Norden. Christian Lane Nihog Hinonen with distinction. <laughs> Kayla Nipyak. 
Alison Eileen O'Callaghan. Jacqueline Don Olson with distinction. Courtney Ann O'Neill with distinction. Jessica Christine O'Neill with distinction. Yes. Stephanie Shivani Padeas. Christina Victoria Panizon with distinction. Alyssa Ashley Parasinchuk. Jin Sun Park. Lanika Elizabeth Parks. Devon Marie Parkinson with distinction. Mindy Neal Parks. Paige Nicole Parks with distinction. Christina Veronica Pattenden. Kelsey Krista Paul with distinction. Tracy Dawn Peterson with distinction. Rochelle Lauren Parapolkin with distinction. Kelsey Nicole Peterson with distinction. <laughs> Ashley Lynn Phillips. <laughs> Kaylee Jean Phillips with distinction. <laughs> Samantha Victoria Pitsanic. <laughs> Emma Maury Plant. Danielle Amanda Plikash. Sydney May Ponto. Kyle Allen Porter. Crystal Marie Potts. Caitlin Nicole Pauli. Krista Julia Prikowski with distinction. Kirsten Annalise Proudfoot. J. Ann Ruby June Primich with distinction. Dominique Maria Pucci. Hilary Ann Racher. Emma Haley Radefelt. Daniel Richard Radersma. Shazia Mehboob Rajan. <laughs> Sana Rashid with distinction. Shabana Rashid with distinction. Rachel Sarah Renault with distinction. Jennifer Rebecca Robatai. Lizelle Lani Robles. Emily Ellen Roach with distinction. Kelsey Laurel Ross with distinction. Receiving today both her Bachelor of Education and Certificate in Community Engagement and Service Learning, Taylor Lee Rubin, with distinction. Jolene Harriet Saddleback. Jacqueline Candless Blythe Ayakyak Sadaway, with distinction. 
Riley Alexandra Schiff with distinction. Joanne Ilan Shah with distinction. Curtis Edmund Shah. Azza Mohammed Sheikh Abdullahi with distinction. Sarah Vera Vudisava uh, Sninu Rovich Lynch, Lynch, sorry, with distinction. <laughs> you know I get halfpence on each syllable. Elena Fay Noel Snyder with distinction. <laughs> Michelle Catherine Sperling with distinction. <laughs> Elizabeth Marie Stallins with distinction. <laughs> Kendra Lee Steedsman. Amanda Faye Stemmler. <laughs> Jennifer Michelle Strachan. <laughs> Samantha Christine Strilchuk. <laughs> Samantha Ann Stewart. <laughs> Alicia Sumar. Nicholas John Suvanto with distinction. Christy Ann Swanson. Julia Yi Tung Sito. Elise Victoria Tange with distinction. Alex Kathleen Terezuk with distinction. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> Sarah Marie Taylor. <laughs> Chelsea Ann Thomas. <laughs> Megan Marwayne Thomas. Chelsea Tara Thompson. <laughs> Alan Richard Tillsley with distinction. <laughs> Kayla Murray Tingley. Like too. Alicia Leanne Taves with distinction. <laughs> Denise Elizabeth Toogood. Denise Kelsey Torrance. <laughs> Ashley Marie Trittart. <laughs> Danielle Tess Van Herk. <laughs> Heather Leanne Verlind. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Vincent. Leah Stephanie Vischer. Jennifer Leanne Waldron. Erica Erin Nicole Walker with distinction. Erin Patricia Wall. Caitlin Elizabeth Wallace. So Samantha Diana Walsh. <laughs> Dan Ling Wang. <laughs> Kristen Noel Washington with distinction. 
Brenna Ellen Woz, uh, sorry, that was Lenky. Richet Angeline Watson. Kelly Lynn Weatherby. Nikea Janine Werman, with distinction. Brittany Darcy Wurschuk. Janea Diane Whalen. Kayla Amber White. Sarah Catherine White. Danielle Mary Whitus. Kaylee Alyssa Wold. Alyssa Michelle Woodcox. Lana Hughes. And Noreen Zaki with distinction. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculties, I present to you the remaining scholars whose names appear in the convocation program, but who are not in attendance. Wow, what a great morning. I think you'll agree with me that seeing today's graduates cross the stage is impressive. Today is a truly proud moment for the University of Alberta. In total, we will graduate 6,649 students at the convocation ceremonies held this spring. It gives me great pleasure to welcome back Dr. David Hancock into our great University of Alberta community. David, this is a real joy for me to be here to see you receive this honorary degree. Let his example as a leader, as a lifelong seeker of excellence, inspire you in the years to come. Congratulations. <laughs> Graduates, you are now part of the University of Alberta's family of more than 270,000 living alumni. Your U of A degree can never be revoked. Think of our school colors, green and gold. Gold is a precious metal that withstands the ravages of time. It can be molded into any shape, stretched into a fine thread, and still retain its fundamental qualities. Green, on the other hand, is a symbol of growth and change, of new beginnings. Taken together, green and gold, 
encapsulate what I hope your education means to you. I hope it is a permanent and enriching feature of your life, as well as an important source of lifelong personal and professional growth. Graduates, now it's your turn to thank a few of your supporters. And there are many to thank today. But today, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge one person in particular who has dedicated her life to building an exceptional faculty of education at the U of A. Her outstanding leadership has deeply shaped the education degree you hold today and has helped promote important cultural change throughout campus. In all that she has accomplished, here at home as well as throughout Alberta and Canada, her profound desire to build and inspire a more creative, inclusive, diverse, and compassionate society shines through. For more than 30 years, Dr. Fern Snart has served, where are you, Fern? Please stand, please rise so we can acknowledge you. not even finished with Dr. Fern Snart. For more than 30 years, Dr. Fern Snart has served the faculty and university in many capabilities, including Associate Chair of the Department of Educational Psychology, Associate Dean of Undergraduate Student Services, Associate Dean Academic and Dean. During her 10 years as Dean, Fern Snart has kept the students of the Faculty of Education firmly in the foreground. She has launched initiatives, created programs, revised curricula to ensure that education students have the knowledge and skills they need to succeed as teachers in the 21st century classrooms. Under her leadership, the Aboriginal Teacher Education Program was instituted, bringing, yes, indeed. bringing U of A teacher education to a new cohort of students in the communities where they live and hope to teach. The Institute of Sexual Minority Studies and Services has been established on campus. Yes. And in a very short time has gained a national and international reputation for leadership in research, policy development and community outreach. Because of Dean Snart's vision, education students now have more opportunity to go abroad for practicums, internships, and courses than ever before. No doubt, some of you are among the students who have traveled across the world during your degrees. At the end of this month, Dean Snart will be stepping down from the deanship. And like you and I, we'll be, we'll be looking forward to a new chapter. We all owe Fern Snart our warmest thanks and appreciation for her outstanding contribution to the Faculty of Education and the University of Alberta. Let us once again thank Fern for all that she's done. And now, graduates, I would like you to stand up, turn around, and give a huge round of applause to the people who supported you through it all, your parents, your families, your spouses, your children. Let's thank them.
Okay. Now that I have all of you back with us, it's time to turn our attention to the final part of today's ceremony. Before we formally induct all of you into the University of Alberta Alumni Association, we want to remind you of the journey you have been on to get to this ceremony with the presentation of a special video montage. The song that accompanies the video, Je Terre True, or I Remember You, was commissioned by Campus St. Jean in celebration of the university's centenary in 2008 and is performed by Chorale St. Jean under the direction of Laurier Fagnon. It was composed by Professor Emeritus Dr. Franz Lavasia Uime and arranged by U of A alumnus Dr. Alan Bevan and captures the hopefulness and potential of days spent at the university. I hope the images that will accompany the song show some of your own particular story and bring back fond memories of your time spent here. Enjoy.
Eminent Chancellor, my name is Ken Bautista, and it is my honor to welcome you and officially induct you to the University of Alberta Alumni Association. Alumni, among your alumni family are Prime Minister, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and a Nobel Laureate, as well as many other outstanding business leaders, artists, educators, and humanitarians around the world. Alumni, all dedicated to uplifting the whole people. A century ago, a group of graduates from the University of Alberta came together in the belief that they could do more together than they could separately. For over 100 years, alumni like us have been doing great things. Bienvenue à notre famille mondiale. Welcome to our global family. Graduates, would you please stand? As a new ambassador for the University of Alberta, I call upon you to use the knowledge that you've gained here for the betterment of yourselves and others. I call upon you to maintain a lifelong connection with your university. As an alumnus of the University of Alberta, be proud of your degree and your fellow alumni. Nurture lifelong friendships cultivated on this campus. Celebrate our university's many successes and recommend it to others. Take part in your alumni association's many events and activities. You are officially now a lifetime member of a powerful worldwide network of friends and colleagues. And on behalf of all alumni, I'm very pleased to welcome you to the University of Alberta Alumni Association. Congratulations and best wishes in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Ken. Now a few final words to our graduates. All of us on the stage understand how hard you've worked to get here today, and we commend you on your determination and your achievements. Our honorary degree recipient today offers a brilliant example of leadership, service, and accomplishment. Dr. David Hancock, thank you once again for sharing your story, your values, and your wisdom with our university family. In accepting this honorary degree, you bring great credit to our university. Thank you again. Graduates, the world is also open for you to be leaders, and I encourage you to remember our university motto to pursue truth. I charge, you to, I charge you to commit to the university promise to uplifting the whole people through service to your chosen career and to our society. On your behalf, I wish to thank our superb vocalist, Mr. Mackenzie May, and our outstanding convocation band under the direction of Dr. Thomas Dust. So in closing, thank you again for coming. Thank you for taking on the responsibility of a university graduate. And thank you for joining our alumni family. I'm pleased to invite everyone to join us in the main floor and first uh, balcony lobbies for refreshments and fellowship following this uh, convocation. So graduates, may your dreams take you far. And may you always remain close to your alma mater, University of Alberta. Enjoy the rest of your celebration.